the the, the shitty like frame interpolation or whatever the fuck they're doing for PAL releases. It's disgusting, dude. Just release the 60 hertz version. Dumb cunt. Or just I guess you have to have like an American account and then you can buy the uh, American version. Like, in, you know, instead of just running it in native, what they do now is, hey, 1080p GTA 3, doesn't it look great? I don't know, man. <clears throat> yeah. I mean... Dude, even the PS3 could just emulate PS1, even though it was quite poorly done, but still, it could do that. So I don't know what's stopping them from having the compatibility. You know what? Maybe it's that the fucking PS4 might not even be able to play CDs anymore. Maybe it's that, right? Because it has a Blu-ray drive. Maybe it's c the kind of Blu-ray drive that can only read... D can it even read DVDs? I don't know. It might only be able to read Blu-rays and nothing else or some shit like that, but maybe they took out CD compatibility at this point, because, like, you know, it's possible, I don't know. I've never had a PS4, so I've never t tested a CD on it. I don't know if it runs it. <clears throat> Yeah, but, you know, the PS1 Classic came way after the PS4, so it's not like they they designed it for this occasion in the future, because, I mean, even the, even the Nintendo Classic wasn't out yet. I mean, it'd be better to just have PS1 compatibility on the PS4, but I don't know. I mean, you can you can you can play PS1 games on like almost anything other than a PS4. So it's not like you really if you really want to play PS1 games, you really have to get that. Can you even get PS1 games anymore on the PSN? Like, can you buy PS1 games and play them on the PS4 online? Like, you know, stuff that they download. CDs don't work either. Well, there's the answer then. You can't get PS1 games on the PS4. I guess they are just like, yeah, fuck this dude. This looks too shit. You know, we're, we're all about 1080p now and sometimes 900p, but... Dude, 240p? Fuck off. No, we're not selling any of those. Forget about it. Imagine if they had PS1 support and you know how, like, they... They have, like, for example, the PS2 games upscaled to, ten to 1080p, actually rendered in 1080p, you know? So, like, fucking San Andreas in 1080p, 25fps disgustment. Imagine, imagine if they had, like, PS1 games, and it was done like EPSXE with the shitty plugins. That's how they would emulate it, so you, like, buy a PS1 game and it's, it's fucking upscaled. Not upscale, it's like actually rendered in 1080p. It looks like fucking shit. You know, just like a badly set up at EPSXE. That'd be amazing if they did that. Just like, what the fuck are you doing, Sony? You know, like rendering a, an ugly ass game in 1080p, just making it even more ugly. Like these mega smooth textures and stuff like that that you see all the time from idiots who would rather play the game like that than the, the way it was meant to be played. Oh yeah, 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 sure, sure, yeah, yeah. That's exactly why it flopped. Not because it was a piece of shit and very low budget. Nope. I mean, apparently you can buy it like really cheap now. I, I never looked, but... It's probably still expensive online, it's just if you go into some American store you can probably find it for for a very affordable price. Like probably like 20 bucks or something you go into 
a store and then you'll find it for that much. I mean, it's like a nice item. You know, the exterior of it is nice. So it's It looks nice, but it's a worthless shit. Not even having an analog stick, really, just like, no. <laughs> it's like, you know, they release some fucking rubbish and then... Well, guys, you didn't buy it. Well, fuck you, we're not making any more. It's your fault. It's, it's your fault for not buying that piece of shit. Because, I mean, you know, it, it's Sony. Sony's the bomb, baby. Sony, Sony doesn't care, dude. Sony puts their name on like any piece of shit you're gonna buy it if you don't buy this fucking garbage that we put out that has the PlayStation name on it then <laughs> what? fuck off dude I feel insulted for not for you not buying that utter shit that we put out so please just forget about it no more PS1 games guys fuck off fuck off everyone only PS2, PS3, PS4 from now on forget about it guys not happening mm -mm. Remember when they were like talking about backwards compatibility for the PS4 and then they said that it would be PS3 backwards compatible, which is obviously impossible because the PS3 is such a hunk of shit and uh, the idea was that you were gonna fucking stream those games. Like, if you had the PS3 game, maybe you would have to buy it, I don't know. Or if you just have the disc, I, I don't know how it works, but you would have to stream it because obviously the PS4 couldn't do it. So it would be a streaming website where you just stream the video of a game. I don't know if that ever came to fruition or did they just like uh, never do it? I don't know. There's nothing better than wanting to play, uh, you know, some fucking PS3 games with a 20 millisecond ping or 30 millisecond ping. It'd be great. Fuck off. Cause I mean, Sony servers are pretty shit, aren't they? Like, I see all these videos where people try to download stuff and it just runs like crap. Because their servers are utter garbage. Like, very slow. I could probably max out with uh, the Sony servers with my internet if I had a PS4. Because usually maybe it's around like 250 megabits or something and then... That's it. Although it's probably country dependent as well. I don't even know if they have like how many PlayStation servers they have and like where are they located, I have no idea. Watch it. <sighs> Apparently there's some guy who who downloaded GTA 5 on the PS4 through dial up. But he didn't download the entire thing, he just downloaded like the first twenty gigs or something. It took him like a couple months or something. It's on, it's on YouTube. I don't know if it's real or fake though. It could be a fake. Unless someone just really has, I don't know, the patience to do so. Oh man, I I need to see the uh, the Silent Hill HD collection on PS4. I fucking love the beautiful young Heather Mason, 17-year-old, with that beautiful raspy chain smoker voice. I just I just fucking love it. Of course, Dad. I'll, I'll definitely. Uh, uh, hello, Dad. Yeah, I didn't get the thing you wanted, Dad. Sorry, Dad. It's just so. It's so nice, you know. This is 14k. Bro, I fucking love the uh, HD collection. It's so good. Are you actually gonna run it? You said something like that that you you were gonna play Someone through it. Someone said that 
AZ collection SH3 is faster or something? Oh, I see. You're gonna play it on P. Actually, apparently the PS3 version is better. They there's something about the 360 version. They didn't release a patch for it, whereas the PS3 version got a patch or something. I don't know. Apparently, the PS3 version is therefore better. I mean, yeah, it's both of them are still just as shit. So yeah. It's such a fucking mess, like, I, I, man, I, I can't believe it, dude. How the fuck could they do this? They just had the, you know, like, it, they had the fucking PC version. Why can't they port that over to 360 and PS3? That would have worked so much better than trying to use an old fucking source port that was from a beta and then trying to rebuild it. Like, God damn it! what the fuck? Do you have to have the source code to port it over to consoles or what? I don't know. I don't know how that works. I mean, they say that a lot of the times that they can't preserve some specific game because they've lost the source code. So I'm assuming it's really important to have that. But I mean, can't you just like reverse engineer the PC version? Which is, of course, it's more work. But I mean, if you don't have the source, then you have to kind of do that, don't you? Don't you? Yeah, I, I don't know why that's so dumb. There must be some reason. But that, it's just really not forward thinking at all. Like, you know, when you release something, oh yeah, it'll be fine, dude. This one version will do for the rest of our lives. Right here, that's it. Half Life 2 incident. I don't know, I. I know that they, it it has been leaked like very early on, and it was sold on the Ukrainian market. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I've heard about that. That they've released on the re released the beta on the market. I wonder if that's still available somewhere. If you can download it, see what it's like. But yeah, I do remember reading about that back in the day. That you know it wasn't even coming out yet, but they already had it. Yeah, I mean, but like, look, if if they, s when they steal the source code, well, it obviously has to be uh, during development if they really want to see it. But if it's after it's been released, then you know, what's the point? Like, I don't know. Well, of course, you could do things with that for sure, but it's weird. Fucking right leg is falling asleep. I gotta stop them. Oh. Wait until you see this. Oh, shit. Oh, did you see that? Where the van, Hammond? Hey, there's the boys, look. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, it stopped. Nice. <laughs> I stopped it with the taxi. That's cool. Tosser, it's the film! 
<laughs> I never even see such a huge difference between Half-Life 2 uh, old engine versus new engine. Like the the only time I, I ever heard of it was really when I learned about speedrunning and I saw people running the old version of the old engine. I'm like, well, why? Like, like I, it, it graphically, I don't think it looks that much better. At least it doesn't look like it to me. Maybe it's just because you know, can't really do much about it. I never actually played through Half-Life 1. I should do it at some point, but I was thinking what if I play through the Dreamcast version, but for that I would need a GDMU because the loading screens are terrible on Dreamcast of disc. I definitely need the GDMU for that. I don't have one. I just have the old SD card reader, but that's really slow. So it would be even worse than playing on disc. Yeah, but the Dreamcast loads are even worse than the PS2 loads. Also, obviously, it was never finished. Actually, someone told me that I should play the, uh, like, not the final version, like, final, obviously, still pre-release, but I shouldn't be playing the, the latest one, but there's, like, one that's before that or something that's actually, it works better somehow, so, like, the latest beta does not work as well as, as like, uh, later, as, like, an earlier one somehow. I forgot what they said anymore, but, I forgot what they said about it, but it's just that something about it. They probably had to modify it a little bit for the consoles to work well. Actually, I only just recently learned that the, uh, you know, Turok 3. I've played through Turok 1 and really didn't like it, but apparently Turok 3 is actually a lot like Half-Life, because they were trying to copy it. Turok 2 is a fucking mess. Turok 2 is, is shit, I don't like it. And I still have to play it. But Turok 3, it, it's like they were trying to go for a Half-Life-esque experience so it might not be that bad I don't know I'm hoping that that at least that game will be neat like you know I know it's not as original as the other ones but it's at least good <laughs> if if all things considered if it's actually gonna be a good one hopefully we'll see when I get that but I think like to rock 3 is from like 2001 or something so it's a quite a quite a late game maybe 2000 I think so it's quite late the N64 library, so it's probably going to be quite a while from now. Actually, I'm like one sixth of the way through with uh, uh, Boomer64, roughly, because we hit game number 50 yesterday. And we have over 300 games, so I'm uh, getting close to one sixth of the way through. But I mean, there's still a ton of really long games left, like, you know, Zelda's... Banjo-Kazooie is actually fairly long as well. Banjo-Tooie, I've never actually played Banjo-Tooie, I'm looking forward to that. But that's in 2000, so, yeah. It's a long way away still. God damn it, I fucking hate this. When this happens, dude, it just fucking pisses me the fuck off. Just fucking move, dude. Just move. Out of the fucking way, Do 
almost went that way. <sighs> Fuck. Nice, 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 nice. Nice, 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 nice. Beautiful. Fucking hell. Buckingham. My eyes are kind of starting to feel heavy. Like it feels like my eyes are really dry. Uh, I wish I could cry or something. Oh, that would be nice. Okay, let's see if I get fucked up or not. I'm gonna actually crash into this a little bit. Would you look at that? There's absolutely no one now. See? Like, they don't even follow me. What the fuck? This game is bullshit. I, they shoot my fucking tire. Oh my god, no, man. I should have killed that guy. I really should have. This is gonna be fun. The tire may not make it, actually. It's what I'm wondering about. Like, it may not actually fucking last. And then the car will slow down significantly when it pops. Because this is a really long drive. Like, basically from one end of the town to the other. Full moon! Cunt, 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 cunt! Wank, wank, wanker, wanker. We're actually not that far away, but... Ah, <sighs> Tossa. It's gonna be kinda hard. Hopefully it won't break down with the wheel. Eee! It's like I'm driving a NASCAR automobile. Steering to the left constantly. I don't know if everyone knows that, but actually the the right side tires on NASCAR cars are actually bigger than the left side. So it's like always like it always has like a a bit of a steer to the left automatically, so it just turns into the corner better. And like since I guess like that tire just gets uh, you know it's it's being used more than the left tires. It's actually bigger. Except for the road courses, as they call them. Road course meaning that there are right turns as well. The left turns. You know, whereas normal people call it call them circuits. In the US of A, they call them road tracks or road road yeah road tracks. I think road tracks is that what I said? I think they said road, I think I said road tracks. Road course? No, I don't know, I can't remember anymore what I said. I'm tired. Please don't die now, please don't die now, dude, please don't die. No, turn around, turn around, turn around, shoot, 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 go, 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 go. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay, I got it. Easy. I should also try to block the door, block the entrance here, what you do. I think you do that, right? So don't get cooked by them. I'm gonna do that from now on. Hey, Crazy Charlie, what's up? I fucking do you badly, I'm in. Oh, that's enough, Harry. I fucking do you badly, I'm in. Oh, that's enough, Harry. I'm gonna crash, I'm gonna crash. I didn't crash. Nice. Uh. Get 
Wow, it's still in one piece. <laughs> Did you see that? The guy was... <laughs> oh my god, that looks funny. I, I saw it from like the corner of my eye that the guy was like flying out of the car or something. Or maybe I just saw him through the car. I love it when that happened. He was like sitting in the, the Jensen Interceptor. Uh, fuck! Fuck! Oh, shit! Okay, I'm taking this Lexus. Oh, the best one is when, like, uh, two side view mirrors uh, clash. Like, if you, you can crash into another car, like an oncoming car, with your side view mirror, and, like, you just basically both fly back, just like as if you were just crashing normally. It's incredible. This is a good car uh, swap. I'm happy about this. I don't mind the Civic. Although, I mean, it would be obviously nice if I could drive there with the Civic, but that's not happening. Apparently, I need to play the American version to grow some balls, and then the Japanese version is going to be like no biggie. That's what I heard. I don't, I don't know if that actually works. So. Oh yeah, emulator. Emulator and American version world record, don't forget about it. He has both. Shit! So yeah, are you gonna, are you, are you gonna ban EMU if he gets a 58-45? <laughs> <laughs> <You, coughs> he submits in like... Uh, um, sorry, sorry, lad. Rules changed. No, nope, not happening, man. He gets like a run where he gets the he gets the fucking he's like taking the the slower but riskier route, as he said, and then he takes he like uh, gets the art gallery s thing where they they don't shoot him. And then he also gets the zip up the uh, up the fucking staircase on the laser house, Jolson's house. And then he he still fucking does the slow method in the police station and gets a 5845. That's what's gonna happen. Just watch. Mark my words. And then immediately after sorry sorry lad no more emu get yourself a capture card <laughs> he'll probably need a modded ps2 as well though i don't think he has one so i mean it shouldn't be too hard to find a fat ps2 and, and buy a chinese sata adapter and then toss, it, toss in like a fucking old ass hard drive and then you're set Maybe we can also make Sof uh, get a PS, like a uh, mod her PS2 with an ID cable and then she can join the party. Can't. But yeah, we're waiting for Nozlar. Nozlar said he's gonna start running after ESA. Which I didn't even know it's already happening. But apparently it is. No, it's he hasn't even started yet. I think it starts like soon or something like I heard people are going now. So it probably starts soon. But yeah, it'd be cool, dude. We have, we would have like four or five runners at the same time. That would be 
Awesome. We could find some new shit, maybe. The more, the more people run this, the more of a chance we have to skip annoying shit. Hopefully. Because I mean, it's especially the worst if there's only one person running a game. Because he'll miss. Oh, he'll miss like so many things, you know. But if there's at least two or three, then you can definitely find some interesting stuff. Dude, when is fucking, uh, what is his name? My friends, it just keeps happening. New world record in the getaway speedrunning scene. When is he gonna make videos of the getaway speedrunning scene, dude? We gotta get famous. We gotta, maybe we gotta bribe him or some shit. To, to make a video about us gaming. <laughs> Just like sits right beside the fucking fireplace my friends it just keeps happening drama ensues in the in the getaway speedrunning community runner blood god rage has got a new world record on emulator using outdated strats but getting really lucky with random glitches user Aaron underscore has banned emulators right <laughs> before he was trying to submit his runs and it just keeps getting better. <laughs> I wanna, I want that, dude. I want, I want him to make videos of the, dude, like, just make videos just like he does with the fucking golden eye shit. Just make it the same for for the getaway. We are technically, we technically have, uh, uh, you know, ILs. He's all about ILs, right? We have ILs, dude. We have IL uh, Hammond and IL um, Ka. I mean, I'm pretty sure you could bribe him or some shit. He'd be all up for it. But I, I think he just loves using fucking full names, you know, because because the fucking the the golden eye speedrunning community uses full names, guys. Don't. Don't you dare using use screen names, man. You gotta use your real fucking name if you're gonna run a game because it's serious business, dude. We're not fucking around, alright? This is serious, okay? So, full name, uh, date of birth, uh, residence, every, we need everything. Every, we, social security number, ID number, whatever you have, we need that. We need your. We need to see your driver's license. If you're gonna speedrun Golden Ice, so don't don't skimp on it, dude. This is serious business. We're not we're not just jokers, okay? This is serious. What is even their reasoning for using like real names? Fuck off, dude. Go! I go! Stop fucking hitting me, you cunt! Should be good now. Right. Yasmin hasn't talked to me in a long time. I'm kind of worried if she's doing all right behind the wall. Mark, come on! Mark, come on! We're gonna do this. Fuck. After you, Mark. I'll watch you back. Don't worry. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! The PS3 version is the same as the mobile version. I have it on 360 as well. It 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 has like shiny graphics, but it's really shit. I 
Actually, on the Xbox 360, they have uh, what they did was they actually replaced original GTA. It's it's really broken. Like that's the biggest issue with it. Like it's just a broken mess. It might look alright from the exterior, but it's like stuttering. It's got shit frame rate. It's it's just broken. And I'm not gonna fit through. Wait, I, can, I am okay. So the the um, what they did was they had the original Xbox version on, on on Xbox Live beforehand, you know. So if you downloaded GTA San Andreas, it was the Xbox Classic version. It was even better than if you were playing it on the three C on the original Xbox because if you were playing on Xbox. You'd always get like shitty loading loading bars everywhere. Like if you get a new haircut, you'd get a loading bar, stuff like that. But on the 360, they completely removed that somehow. It just doesn't do that. It just Im it's immediate. But they just replaced that version completely, so you can't even buy it anymore. It's all if you buy it, it's always the shitty version, the the 10th anniversary garbage Android port. There's actually a consistent crash in that game when you're doing. Uh, when I was playing casually, I, I noticed it. When you are doing, um, what's it called? When you're driving sweet home. No, no, yeah, like when when you pick up sweet from the police precinct. Uh, homecoming, I think. It's something like homecoming, I think, is what it's called. That mission always crashes if you go like a specific route or something like that. So you have to like take a detour or something. I don't know. So it doesn't crash. It's really weird. It like actually crashes the 360. It just says fatal crash intercepted or something. And you have to start over. I think it just freezes on a non-RGH Xbox, but RGA Xbox is just like says fatal crash and then quits to the menu. I think that's how it works. What car am I gonna get? MP, MP is gone. We are not same. Nothing good so far. They could have done the same thing for fucking... You know... They could have even done the same thing for Vice City and GTA 3 since it has mobile versions. But it would have been fucking cheap as shit though if they did that. Interestingly enough though, when you buy the game on PS4, right, it's, it's still the PS2 version. So what's up with that? Did they realize that it was a shit port? You know, it was a shit Android port. It's the PS2 version rendered in 1080p. Not the shitty remake. Oh yeah, like, dude, you know how the, you know, original San Andreas PS2 uh, it's a full DVD. Like even on the PC, it's like a full fucking DVD, right? Like four over four gigabytes. This mobile version is like two gigabytes. So you know what happens? <laughs> Good question. It just suddenly shrunk in size. Less songs, worse audio quality at some point, I guess. They probably used like different types of compression, so they probably recompressed uh, already compressed files, which is awesome. Get the fuck out of my way. I'm not gonna make it like this, dude. Fucking hate it when you're just like pushing it, and then you turn right, it goes with you, you turn left, it goes with you. You just cannot fucking shake these cars off, it's so obnoxious, dude. Fucking arbitrary bullshit. Alright. Oh my fucking god, I can't get out the car! Fuck off! The fuck is this shit, man? Bitch! Fucking shit, man. Imagine. Yes, you ready? Oh 
Oh no, Layla suffered a heart attack. Oh, I am gonna miss it by quite a long shot. Drive faster, Hammond. Soho boys think they can drive. Oh, I got lucky. Didn't start smoking. Oh, you cunt! Fucking hate this man. I, I just cannot. I'm s I'm getting so unlucky with this shit. Okay, Lexus, Lexus. I hate swapping cars. It's so goddamn slow. Oh fuck off dude, fuck off, fuck off with this fucking double decker shit. So it's more than business then with you and Charlie. No, it's business. You sure you can kill him? I've tried that once before. I won't make the same mistakes you have. Hey! I just polished that. Sixty. No. I don't get that much, that kind of money. I'd, if I need a center storage, I mean, I would rather probably get a, a HDD. Depends on what you need it for. Finally, if she's got Alex, it'll finally be over. Like if you want something bulletproof, like a PS2, I guess. It's kind of expensive, but you could do that and then you never have to worry about swapping it out because it's probably never going to wear out. Because reading cycles don't really wear it out, it's writing cycles that are limited. Oh, 
but I wouldn't put it in something like a 360 for example or a PS3 because it probably uses a page file so when it like writes so it basically like, constantly writes and deletes it and for that you want a hard drive if there's something like heavy usage on a drive then you want the hard drive because it doesn't really wear out from usage it, it wears out over time like it doesn't matter how hard it's been used it's it's mostly the fact that you know it's been running for how long the motors are this old and like you know the the platters are this old so silver fucking pa so for specific scenarios the three six uh, hard drive is still better like for example for a 360 or a PS3 unless you're speedrunning I guess something then you could hype it up with the with an SSD if you're really into that kind of stuff yeah a cheap Chinese one should work fine because you're not really writing to it if it's like constantly staying in the same place like every bit of data stays in the same place and there's nothing you know written to it then it should be fine the problem is that if you like these Chinese ones are really shit for anything else like if you use uh, the problem is I think these very cheap ones just don't have like a cache controller or whatever and it's just basically wearing out the drive really quickly and it's also pretty slow for for uh, random access I think or something their sequential is good, but that's basically what you need for the PS2. You need sequential, so it should work fine. But I actually once used uh, an, like a Joy Noise SSD for my laptop when the hard drive broke. I just put in that shitty SSD that I had. I was using it for speedrunning. I put it in, put Windows on it, it lasted like a fucking month or something and it died. Just completely locked up. That's even worse, you know, like... When it, let, let's say it dies like that during fu your fucking warranty is still on and then it your SSD just becomes write protected is what happened to mine and then and then like it all my stuff stayed on it you know like it, am I gonna give it to some Chinese company to fix it for me with all my stuff on it is that a good idea you know like <laughs> what do you do in that case like it's just shitty Yo, MH. It's like Koopa. Ko it's like, uh. Give me the gun, dude. Okay. Get this gun. I'll cover you. Okay, I'm on it. Don't let me down, Hammond. We're yeah. Together, remember. I'm only ever buying cheap SSD if, if it's for like, you know, for, like, a, a cheap SSD is basically like an S a really big SD card. It's just flash storage without like proper control, and you know how fragile SD is. Like if you keep overwriting, this, you know, very frequently, it's not only slow but it's just gonna die. What the fuck? Speaking of dying. Like, why don't I have an AK yet? There we go. <sighs> don't die, okay. Oh, I forgot to go for the sub, but I mean, whatever, this is at least more sturdy, so. I guess I'll go for the sub with Frank, but I don't know. It's very fragile. It dies in like freaking two hits and that's it, or maybe even one. Whereas this one kind of can take a beating more, I feel like. And it feels pretty fast still, so I'm okay with it, but...
Like, a, the sap probably would have died from that. It's a really weird sports car if you think about it, isn't it, it? It it's definitely a sports car. That sub. It looks like a kinda like a a half coupe, half SUV. It's really bizarre. Like the back of it is really gigantic. It almost feels like a an SUV, right? But the front of it is like, hey, this is a sports car. It's kind of a bizarre car. But I like it, it, it looks kinda cool. Too bad they never actually made it. Oh my god, it's still not- Oh, dude, wait a second, Aaron, it might be the fucking invincible car again. Because, yeah, I mean, that should have started smoking. Dude, what the fuck? Is this car actually invincible again? This, like, what am I doing? Fuck. I. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, shit, well, that's okay. A bit of a detour, but... At the end of the world. Uh, okay, no, it did start smoking, but still. It took quite a while for it to start smoking, so... That's nice. So it is not... Invincible. Like, yesterday I had it really, really sturdy. It was not breaking down at all. So I was wondering what the heck happened there. I did even try to crash into the, the building when I arrived, and it still didn't start smoking, so I don't know. It's weird. Hammond feels my pain. I, I gotta heal. Fuck. Yeah, that's unlucky. Mm, God damn it! I'm gonna have to heal right, like right now. I, actually, can I even heal on the staircase? Yeah, I can. Okay. I underestimated how low my health is here. I fucking hate this song. It grinding this dumb shit, you know, like trying the uh, this. Oh fuck! No way, man! I can't. Hi! Why, dude? Why is this fucking happening to me? Grinding this this like impossible trick made me hate this song. Oh, why is this fucking happening to me, dude? Let's just throw this fucking run away. Hate this game sometimes. Every time basically. Every time when I don't like it I hate it. More than anything else. And then I can get that no issue but the other one I can't. What the fuck dude? I gotta still heal though I think. Looks like I have to heal at least a little bit. I don't know how much I lost there but I guess not that much, but still a little bit, which is annoying, but yeah. I'm gonna heal just a tiny bit. Cause I, yeah, I look, I looked fine. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. He's not healing anymore, okay, cool. Oh, it can still crash, don't worry. We need a car. Get a fast one. We've got to be quick. What are you pissing around for? Come on, let's go. Then you think I'm over.
I also derped, it's annoying because I derped at least one or two times so I went the wrong way here and there so could have saved at least that much time but yeah this could sh still be a PB I've got a bad feeling about this it's been an eventful day well you certainly know how to show a girl a good time oh yeah I, yeah, I, I know right I'm not gonna not gonna beat him now I didn't go for the TBR Only takes like five minutes to get in there again and then steal it. I wonder why that's even there. You know, like normally you can't take it, only if you glitch through the garage door. Why the hell is it even there at all? Can you take it? I don't think you can. Well, actually, maybe you can go through the garage and then get into it, but why would you do that? Like you're never you're like if you leave the area then you fail the mission, so what's the point of that being there? Cause you start outside anyways, right? Maybe you could like go back into the building, right? And take fucking absolutely forever just to steal the TVR. Like actually fucking go through the stairs and everything again just so you can get into that fucking TVR and then just drive off I don't, I don't know, what's the point? I mean, I can understand, you know, the TBR and the Lotus. Oof. Before, like, when you're starting the Jolson files. But it doesn't make sense here. The back door opens to, well... Yeah. I guess. Dude. Are you seeing this? Are you seeing this, by the way? Like, I'm using the same car still. From the beginning, I've not crashed once. That's kind of amazing to me. But it's probably gonna happen now. As I said that. There you go. But at least it's not smoking yet, so that's good. I mean, it can start smoking now. It won't be an issue. I can st I can make it from here. So basically, I can keep this car till the end. Which is good. Fuck off. Fuck off. Yeah, that was really good. And like the car itself is pretty good as well. Like the A class is a fairly quick car. It's alright. Now I need Yasmin to follow me and not die or anything like that. Okay, Yasmin, you got me? Please don't lose my sight. What are you pissing around for? Come on, let's go. What are you pissing around for? Come on, let's go. I hope she's coming. But I've been having some pretty bad luck with this recently, where she wasn't following me. And then I would fail the mission around here. I've even failed it while going up with the crane. Running is too OP, I guess. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. Yeah, I need to actually slow down for her to fucking catch up to me or some shit now. Oh my god. Really? Yeah, she did. She was lying on the ground, basically all bled out, and she was still yelling at me to hurry up. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna have to do as well. Because I was, yeah, this happens all the time. I should have just slowed down, but I mean, it's only like 10 seconds, so not the end of the world. But next time, I'm definitely doing it. F some of that. F some of that. Later. Charlie's mine. I've got to get to him before anyone else. This could even be a one on one if I'm lucky. Hey, 
I'm enjoying it. Yeah, I'm in. I'm always so nervous. I, I feel like I'm gonna blow up one of these fucking barrels one day and just die immediately. But I mean, can you even blow them up with like auto aim? Not sure. Did I kill him? <sighs> Yay! 101. It was not very good though. Like, there were a couple mi couple issues with it, but it's at least alright. And I beat, beat, uh, MU, well, 